Hi there folks, today's vlog comes from a very snowy Holland. It's possible that where you are also is pretty nasty weather. I don't like snow. I don't know how much of this I can do, but it's possible that uh, the rest of the vlog will continue in the studio. See you soon. In 2018, I went to Russia for the first time, and this weather actually fits pretty good, admittably, all this cold weather. It was cold, but it wasn't as cold as it is here. I think it's minus, minus six at the moment, and uh, yeah, I went to Russia for the first time. Have a look and enjoy this video of my journey with a certain band in Russia. Enjoy. I know folks, so we'd finally arrived in Russia, we got to the, the first hotel and I really didn't know what to expect, you know, it was my first time and uh, you think it's kind of like very dark there and the third world and everything, but the first hotel was really fantastic, I always insist on a, a single room so I can take a nice bath, good for the voice, you know, and um, I always do the, the mirror picture, oh there, look, there, look at me, <laughs> quit looking in the mirror, and uh, off to sleep, and then next day it was breakfast. So as I said, it was an incredible uh, hotel. I was quite surprised. Um, St. Petersburg is really an amazing place. We went to Russia again with Pink Cream 69, uh, I think it was 2019. And um, yeah, this is me but having a look outside. An incredible place. They say that St. Petersburg is very European as far as Russia is concerned. And it really is. So it was room with a view. As you can see, the buildings are, the buildings there are really massive, really solid. You know, everything's like built in a very big way. This view, I like to look out the window in a hotel and uh, this was amazing. It was cold, but not as cold as it is in Holland at the moment. It's uh, about minus six. It's gonna stay like this for the rest of the week, I guess. But I'm busy in my studio at the moment recording my, um, my second record. That's me. I always do a little interview for myself. Um, the audio was unfortunately not very good on this uh, part of the video. So I've overdubbed it. Um, this is Zaki. He's setting up his kit. You know, it, it all went really well. The service was really good. The only thing was, of course, quite often you turn up and you, you you don't take your own equipment. You might take a few pedals and pieces when you fly to a different countries. And uh, with each gig, he would have a different uh, drum kit. So it was always a big surprise when, when you got there what drum kit you would actually get and I think he wasn't mad but you know he wants to do a good gig he wants to do a good show 
so it was kind of disappointing sometimes that the kit wasn't really up to scratch. This is me having a look backstage and it's time with my little camera there to go outside and have a look in the, um, the USSR. Back in the USSA. I don't know if that what that actually means but it's wrong Dave, that's wrong but I can't change it now. This is an old video that I did and uh, I'm revamping it now for, um, for YouTube that you can watch. I spent quite a bit of time, you know, over my career videoing a lot of stuff and I have a lot of video but it took me time to be able to release it and now the time has come and um, possible the next video will be Japan with, with time. But like, um, as I said, it was incredible to be there um, and um, this is us obviously doing the sound check for the first concert. So we'd done the first gig, went really well. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage myself. It's possible you can find something on YouTube. It was time to load up the van outside with the equipment. But for us, it was gonna be a, a very short night. Um, we, we didn't have a hotel that night. We would then get in an overnight train. We went straight to the train station. I was still sweaty from the gig. You gotta be careful when you're a singer. What an incredible train station. You don't get many of those. Maybe in Germany you get quite big train stations quite often. We arrived in here, I felt like James Bond in a way, and this is why I probably wrote 007, which is coming up quite soon. We waited around here, and um, we would then go on a overnight train that would take us to uh, Moscow. It would be about 12 hours. Incredible journey. I'm really glad that we did it this way because, um, you know, flying's boring in respect. We could get the, ex you know, we could get the full experience by getting on a train like this. So here we are, just about to get on the train, and it was incredible because before you get on the train, um, there's some special music that comes on that uh, sends you on your way, which is definitely uh, oh, quite incredible. incredible. Here's the Russian support band. Yeah, so where we, uh... Say something, Ski. Oh, it's a small TV ski. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> that is nearly finished ski. This is pay TV. This is pay TV. <laughs> it's it's pay TV. Adult P yeah. uh, TV. Let me look in here. Adult TV. Wow, it's amazing. No, no, no. It's a... Uh, this guy's got pizzas and this guy's got his own cup. Good night. Long ski. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Russian ski. That's incredible ski. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yours, wait a minute, Your, yours is bigger than ours. This is bigger. This is a bigger one. Wow, man, it's crazy. <laughs> so, this is the Russian toilet. That's me. I'm trying to clean this machine. That's for the tea, yeah? Is it free? Come on. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'll see you, I'll see you. Yeah. yeah. And this is this is uh, fire. Your 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 this titan. Yeah, yeah, titan. Titan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I thought it was strange.
So it's seven in the morning and uh, we've just arrived in, in Moscow and uh, very soon we, we, we will be getting off this train and um, going basically straight to the hotel or straight to the gig basically. It was like a 10 hours journey as you can see. My usual mirror picture of course just to show that I'm in the video and um, yeah very soon we're just about to arrive. Like most places in um, in Russia, there's really security everywhere at the train stations and everything, which is which is kind of strange, but it's a good thing. I can understand it. Of course, I'm not allowed to film, so I'll probably put the camera somewhere while I go through there. Um, I lost my headphones there. I saw the security check. I will leave. So when we went in the train station, and when you leave the train station, there is a security, almost like being on, on an airport, really. Which makes sense, in a way, it gives you a certain feeling of, of security, I guess. So this is us, basically, um, making our way to the hotel. So finally in Moscow, and uh, it's time to get a taxi, of course. And uh, this is short on the video, but it was quite a journey. You can imagine in Moscow, it's like uh, takes like an hour to get through uh, Moscow, I guess, um, to wherever you're going. So busy there, so crazy. I was there um, 2019 again with Pink Room 69, and it took me like an hour and a half to get through Moscow to the, the concert. So it was quite incre incredible. With a taxi driver that couldn't speak English. So that's uh, not always easy. Hotel number two, also very comfortable. Everything you need, cup of tea for the singer and um, get ready for the next gig. So the day after the, the gig was a great success and um, already we're on our way to the airport. And I think it was already also like an hour's journey you know, crazy hour, wherever we were. It's probably not that far, but in Russia, it takes a long time to get anywhere. It's really busy, but it was an amazing journey. Um, for me personally, though, when I go somewhere and I travel quite far, I want to go to good weather, honestly. I want to go to a beautiful place and go to good weather. And uh, the, the weather was okay there. It was a bit dark and, you know, kind of what you would expect somehow a little bit from Russia. But an incredible experience how to return we did return like i said with pink cream 69 later on it's possible that this uh this uh, uh trip actually helped uh, bring pink cream 69 to uh russia in in 2019 it was also an incredible experience quite different than this one we played an, an outdoor festival and uh also maybe i got some footage of that somewhere but i'm enjoying bringing this footage to everybody to to the people at the moment i'm in the studio working on my solo record difficult times and uh, the drummers just um delivered the the drums guitars are being recorded from today and um slowly but surely we're, we're building on the record a lot of guests involved in this record uh like my first one and um yeah thanks for listening once again people Hope you enjoy the videos and uh, the next one will definitely be a more studio report for my uh, new release. Thanks once again. Stay safe and uh, speak to you soon. Take care, people. Bye-bye. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for my future stuff. I'm going to do a few um, studio reports of my solo record. Hope you're keeping well and everything and uh, speak to you soon. Take care. Peace out. Yeah.